capacity planning and scheduling is a key element of any manufacturing company's decisions. One of the key decisions that has to be made is around your resources and their availability and whether they should be infinite or finite. That will really depend on your business and how you wish to plan them. Let's have a look at the system and see what Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operation gives us in that area. So our organisation is set up um, with two different sites. One who wishes to use infinite capacity and one that wishes to use finite capacity. We can see that the resource groups and all the resources within them are set up with an eight hours per day calendar to see how much capacity they have available. Let's look at the work orders that are scheduled against that particular site. In this example, we have an infinite scheduled set of jobs, which are all due to finish on a specific date. When we schedule backwards from the delivery date, we can see all of the work appears to complete on time. However, if we look at the job load associated with those particular resources, you can see the capacity on here is overbooked. This means that we have to make manual decisions about when those should be scheduled to fit in with our availability. Rescheduling those in this way means that we can still fit in all the work that is required. However, let's look at a finite scheduled site. When we look in here, scheduling in exactly the same way results in a spread of the load over the months that we are looking at. This means that we will never go above our capacity with this particular mechanism.